Yoda's classy, luxurious Yoda Phone 2 has arrived, and it's packed in a box as matte and sophisticated as the phone itself. It unfolds in three parts, housing the main event, the Yoda Phone 2, and the innards packed in separate matte black boxes. There's a micro USB cable, a little black standalone charger, a SIM ejector tool hidden into a rubbery holster of its own, meant to be easily attached to something like your keys. Finally, Yoda has preloaded quality headphones with a ton of different sized buds. The Yoda Phone 2 is a curvaceous black matte device, which feels like a smooth matte pebble to the touch. The display on the front is a 5 inch AMOLED unit of 1080p resolution, nestled between slim bezels. There is a 2.1 megapixel front facing camera and an earpiece atop the screen. The left side is smooth and devoid of controls. On the right side there is a single piece volume rocker doubling as the ejectable nano SIM card slot. The power button sits underneath. The bottom has a micro USB port sitting between two grills. The top has the audio jack. The secondary 4.7 inch quarter HD e-paper display is on the back. It's always on, but it has no backlight. The Yoda Phone 2 runs a stock version of Android KitKat. The only thing missing is Google Now is the leftmost home screen. The notification area is the usual affair. It lists actionable notifications on the left, in quick settings and a separate panel to the right. Since this is stock Android, you can't edit the quick settings. Yoda Hub is the app that can customize the back-facing e-paper display. From it you can choose covers and panels. Covers are like wallpapers with shortcuts to apps like email or the dialer. You can customize a cover as well as add new ones with a choice from Facebook or Instagram photos and on-device photos. The Yoda panel is like a grid of widgets that can take you into apps and show you information like the time and date. Moving to the 4.7 inch e-paper display automatically shuts off the AMOLED up front. The covers and panels you choose are displayed here and you can interact with them. There is a reader app here with a preloaded user manual that you can flip through. Finally, you have apps specifically for the e-paper display which are launched from the main UI but can be used on the e-paper on the back. There's chess and 2048, so you can pass the time playing those without a serious battery penalty.